Welcome back everyone, my name is Dr. Kriva, this is some more Stellaris, playing our heavily modded game as the GXP22 supervisors, the rogue servitors that took over Earth after we, now that we are getting pampered like crazy. Yeah, now we want the automated colonization units for sure. System survey complete. Um, Wasat has been fully surveyed. You're Technological acquisition success. After that, you're going there. Okay, the research initiative center. Is that dense jungles? I need it. It's exactly the one I need right now. Um, let's see. Humans are still growing. I'll be look at that research bonus. Holy crap! Yeah. Um. This one I'm gonna use for research. Ew. Right. Um. Since we we are going to need the food soon anyway. System survey complete. Do we want it here though? I don't think so. This will be mostly minerals anyway, so. Construction complete. We'll just Special give them a silo complete. here. A whiff of something. Uh, let's check the research first. Unlock spaceports. We could already go for cruisers. Um, wait, already for cruisers at level three? And that is um, the ship mods uh, expansion. We'll do space torpedoes first. A whiff of something, though. The box is indeed a document of a sort. Science officer Safont admits that the cell phone zero e three five admits that they have been hoping for a historical record or some other kind of complex significant to whatever culture left it behind, but they were disappointed. The true nature of the aromatic box seems to be a collection of fairly short narratives which, going by the rapid change in order towards the end of each sequence, are intended to surprise or be interpreted as comedic. The techniques used to store and reproduce specific smells is of some interest, but the tales it tells are not. The crew of the JXP Kiwi are left with the uncomfortable feeling that they have unwittingly become intimately familiar with what certain gaseous byproducts of alien digestion smell like. However, so fun 0 E35 is unwilling to speculate as to why the box was dumped on this frozen hellscape of a planet. We just found an alien ancient whoopee cushion. This is what just happened. Oh, okay, Aldebaran is closer, so we should do that one instead. You should go there. We have no one growing here. Ah, yes, this is where we want the nutrient paste facility. And. Yeah, on this, this is the tile that we want the. Uh thingamajig on the where is it uh, there's the initiative planetary administration empire unique that's fine uh the uplink node yeah that's the one that we want here you're also nearly done with the next robots i'm gonna queue them up a bit more Eleven complete. Frickin' hell. System survey. Complete. It's a lot of physics research. Shujal. Construction complete. To the next. And the colony ship cannot actually get anywhere simply because they need to be on passive. Because here they're blocked, here they're blocked, and they are blocking us. So which one were we going again? I think it was the Arctic first. Um, give it me a second. Colonize. 004B. So weird. Uh, 
It's not. Okay, now, how about now? There is something. Okay, they're going that way. Anyway, the science expedition team led by Sophon287 from the science vessel, the JXB Mebby, maybe, has found something remarkable. There is still a significant amount of infrastructure left on this world built by an ancient, unknown interstellar empire. Huh. We get monthly unity plus 2% for finding some interstellar remnants. Precursor remnants. Whoa. That is in unbelievable, especially in Aldebaran. Uh, not especially there, but still. Wow, some of these planets and suns are worth not a lot. Construction complete. Surface construction in 003 is done. Maybe I should upgrade that one instead of building the mine first. Yeah. Hmm. System survey complete. Planetary alert. Tidal blocker expunged. It wasn't on this world, but... Technological acquisition successful. That one I do want to remove. Um, let's just get positronic CPUs, even though max influence from factions is still completely useless. Oh yeah, that's our colony ship trying to get through. Zero zero four A has an asteroid sighted. Oh, it already spawned, so that's a good thing. Let's recruit ourselves. Um, L twenty. They need to get their ASAP. Well, that's Situation asteroid sighted. Right. Right. Um, Planetary alert. Tile blocker expunged. Technological acquisition successful. Anomalous surface variable detected. Sure. Go check out what it is. Okay, so now we move you here and build ourselves as soon as we have the money. Ah, observatories. Um, let's get power plant upgrade. As soon as we have the money, we shall build ourselves the spare parts depot. We are now rivals with these guys. Okay, then I'm going to rival them back. Doesn't mean we're going to have to build up... Oh, are you kidding me? I cannot do that while the asteroid is here. Wow. An abandoned life pod was detected in close orbit of Regulus 3. It is covered in scorch marks, presumably from when the pod's mothership exploded, and preliminary scans suggest it was built more than 5,000 years ago. The crew of the Mebi managed to open the pod, revealing the weather remains of a reptilian alien clad in a resplendent uniform. Clutched in one of its claws was a small picture of another individual from the same race, possibly a mate or a revered leader. There, um, you did get enough for the spare parts depot. Okay, at least our fleet is here. And they start firing on the asteroid. 6,000 hull points, it won't do any damage back. So 
So this is just going to get hammered like nuts. Almost there. The asteroid that was approaching 004. A on a collision course has been destroyed. No plant site units or structures have been affected by the event, as any inbound debris was small enough to disintegrate on atmospheric entry. A scan of the remaining fragments has also revealed that the asteroid consists largely of valuable minerals. We've collected what we could, and that is a thousand minerals for free. Uh, or we are going to translate into at least five more ships, as well as a spaceport upgrade. Construction complete. And let's see. You're definitely in need of another population and an upgrade to the center. Let's swap these two around and build you guys a science lab. For even more sciencing. You're going to finally colonize this world. There we go. For a sector systems, plus one, that could actually be quite nice to have. Ooh. We're actually going to go over our limit, our official fleet limits. System survey complete. Yep, finish that system. Just keep the first fleet. There we go. Construction. Oh, they took beta Kaylee. Power plant done. Um, yeah, let's go for better complete. shields. Excellent. Now we can build even faster robots. System survey complete. Mm. Mining network, yes, check out whatever that is. Complete. You do that, upgrade and upgrade. Ah, full survey data. Located in the remote or this system. Located in the remote part of Portal 7, the science team of the GXP Kibi has found an out-of-place metallic tablet. It contains basic information about the distant system using illustration of what appears to be a periodic table. Science officer Sofan Zeri 35 has been able to use the information to deduce the location and potential resources of the system. Let's also f just finish formal hot. Doesn't show that number on the map anymore. Oh, good, we actually went up as well there. So, <sighs> technology. I think replacing this one will be the best. Um, we need 500 minerals. Then we can build the research initiative center. Or a thousand, and we can build a primary network hub. But that only increases resource production on this planet, so. It doesn't specific say if it's uh, planetary unique or not. Now let's just do afterburners instead. We don't need map projectiles right now. Our governor is now level 5, but they can still level up. 
for a month, then we'll get uh, signal relay stations, and the then we can get cogs complete. in the machine. Okay, so now we can already build destroyers. And let's uh, look. Stern, uh, too small or one medium. Go with the gunship bow. Let's give them the highest level of all rockets. Better, better, better. We can also put in the kitchen sink. It is really expensive though. When it comes to the power level needed. Oof. Let's do it this way. They already have 140 shields on this, not bad. Um, it's a bit of a long name to be honest. Put one medium in, we can put in this amount of shields. That's 80 shields, and if we do it the other way around, it's also 80 shields. Okay. Yes, remove that old design. Anti-invasion anti simplex. Upgrade our frontier outposts. Oh, we can even give them better uh, sensors. Will that show here? Okay, hang on. Um, can I now upgrade you? I do want to see if it upgrades or not. I don't know how long it would have take to upgrade. Construction complete. Um. It is already being upgraded, but... Okay, no, 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 no. Where are you at? Just, just build me that, though. And that's what I want in the first place. Okay, so... That's okay. You can all be upgraded to be getting your shields. I guess the upgrade actually needs something more. Ah, oh, the space whales found them again. Ship augmentation. 908 to 1031. That's not a bad upgrade at all. And yeah, I still want it. I still want that research initiative center. I mean, it gives you 10% on all research speeds. Hello. It's really good. So I'm going to save up a couple more months for that. I think two more now. But regardless, I would like to thank you all for watching. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. And subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date in the future. And with the queuing of the Research Initiative Center. Yes, please. I will see you all later.